signs Aries, Leo and Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those cross watching and welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look and see what is it that comes to mind when they think of you. So we want to know what crosses their mind when they like when they hear the mention of your name or when they think about you here. It is going to be a general reading guys so please just keep that in mind. If you are after personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and connect. I will be listing my email address just below the video here. Okay guys, so with all of that being said, let's give the cards a shuffle here and let's see what your romantic energy here thinks of you when they think about you. Okay, what comes to mind when they just hear the mere mention of your name? Okay, so you have the Six of Cups, Six and Seven, all right, the Seven of Swords, the Page of Cups, the Ten of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Tower. Wow, okay, well, we've got some interesting cards here. So what do they think of you here? Um, I feel like this is someone who definitely feels as though you've got that emotional maturity and emotional intelligence of the King of Cups. You're someone who is very like they're very emotionally controlled right so you're someone who is able to express his or her emotions in a very calm way okay someone who's very in touch with their intuition in touch with their emotional side and this is something i feel like that they really admire about you your ability to express your emotions even in the most stormiest of weathers here now your person feels as though the two of you have some sort of soul contract they feel as though you are a soulmate they feel a strong sense of familiarity in your presence they feel very comfortable with you even if you guys have just recently started out there's this notice how you're just comfortable around one another and how you can just get on with one another and just it's almost as if you've been friends with each other for years or you've known each other a lot like longer than you have so you feel it they don't they must certainly feel it too it's just that they could be themselves they can drop their guard down they can talk to you about whatever it is that they want they feel or even if not that, they just feel familiar. They feel like they've known you in a previous lifetime or they just, you feel like home to them and that feels very comforting. It feels very safe here. And they can be a bit territorial in that aspect as well. Um, now, I can see that with the Seven of Swords here, however, there is some sort of deception or some sort of trickery involved in this connection. I'm not sure if you're the one who has been doing the deceiving or if you're the one who has been like on the deceiving end so you're going to have to take it as it resonates with them but I as it resonates with you but I definitely feel like there's some sort of either there's some sort of guilt that weighs this person down if they have been deceiving you okay because deep down inside they were hoping to get away with something that they shouldn't either they were telling you lies they were being very deliberate in the you know in the lies that they were uh, weaving to you here um and they were deep down inside they knew that they shouldn't be doing what they were doing but they were just hoping not to get caught here um but now i feel like there's some sort of guilt it's hard to say whether the guilt is because they got caught in the lie or it's hard to say if it's the guilt because the guilt eats them up because they know that they you know shouldn't have done it and they shouldn't have hurt you here or if it's the you know if it's in reverse here then this person definitely feels very betrayed here very betrayed they feel something you might have said or done here. They feel like it was a very personal attack here. I'm not sure what that's about. But they feel like maybe you were going around behind their back. Um, maybe you were talking to someone here. I'm not sure. It just feels like they feel as though... The Ten of Swords here. Okay, They feel as though they were stabbed in the back they didn't see it coming they were betrayed you know they've lost they've lost a lot of trust in you and they lost a lot of trust in relationships and in love here okay and if it's you then obviously this is your energy here but someone didn't necessarily see all the lies and the deceits coming and when they think of you or your name they think of that they either think of the pain and the deceit and you know the 
hurt that they caused you or they think of that pain that they felt here that you know deceit that act of betrayal here so it is a bit of a heavy energy there is some sort of tower moment that may have happened between the two of you or the two of you may be under the influence of a tower moment right now and they don't feel very secure like they don't feel very secure within themselves they also don't like they feel like your relationship with them is a bit on the rocks okay they feel as though it's not a very sturdy foundation. They're not sure. There's a lot of chaos in their energy, okay? I feel like even if this is someone who has hurt you or whom you have hurt, they still have feelings for you. There's still some sort of attachment there. Whether or not they care to express this, there's still something there. And for instance, whatever's going on between the two of you, I feel like, you know, this person is trying to come across as the king of cups, like it hasn't affected them. Like, you know, they're trying to play it cool, but deep down inside, whatever it is, it's causing them a lot of havoc and a lot of chaos in their energy. It's causing them a lot of sleepless, restless nights here. It's a very, you know, unsettled kind of energy here. It's a very frenzied kind of energy. And this person here feels there's a lot of turbulency that they feel here, especially with regards to you and their connection. Now, there's a strong sense of finality as indicated by the Ten of Swords. So, and the Nine and the Ten, what is this about? Six and Seven as well. It could be a reference to time here. It could, some things here may transpire between the two of you. you. You may hear from this individual. It could be six to seven weeks, six to seven days. It could be a reference to time as well, guys. But I feel like that is significant here, those consecutive numbers. Um, there is a sense of finality here. And they feel as though, like, you can't go back. Whatever was said or done cannot be undone, okay? There's no rewind button to undo it all, unsay it all, okay? So they feel very hurt here by their own actions or by your actions here. Um, it's like this loss, and it's an energy that definitely weighs them down and it drains them here. They're trying to work on themselves, I feel, either for you and your connection, okay? Because I feel like even if you are separated, they're trying to work on themselves so maybe that they could come back later to you and be an improved version of themselves because I feel like they're trying to. I also feel like if this is, if your person was a deceitful one, they're also trying to work on their flaws and their vices, okay? They're trying to improve themselves and not have history repeat itself. So there's a lot that this person is going through, and I feel like when they think of you here, this, special, this certain individual feels a very strong connection with you still here. I feel like they do hold you in high regard. They've either felt like they really hurt you or disrespected you, or they felt very hurt or disrespected by you. There's a lot of... Um, you guys are under the influence or have been under the influence of a tower moment and it's such a quite a dark setting both the tower and the ten of swords so there's a lot going on with them emotionally internally here but when they think of you i mean it's it's a whirlwind of emotions it's bittersweet you know yes you guys have created some wonderful memories there's a strong sense of home and they want to return home for the most part but there's also that you know can't erase what they did they can't erase what they said or what you said or what what you know, what you did, and unfortunately, I feel like this person is having a hard time moving on from that, and they're trying, though, they're trying to work through, so hopefully with the passage of time, they'll be at a better place. All right, guys, and these are your messages. Thanks for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to this channel, liking, sharing. Um, I, of course, will be sharing more tarot love messages, so do stay tuned to check out the rest of the channel, and for those of you wanting a personal reading, feel free to connect. Otherwise, bye for now.